God, you have proved our suffering souls to make our graces shine. So silver bears the burning coals, the metal to refine. Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Office. I'm so glad you could join me, and thank you. This is morning prayer for Thursday, May the 30th, and the scripture for this service, Psalm 37, verse 1 to 18, and Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 32 to 40. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Alleluia. Do not fret because of the wicked, and do not envy the workers of evil. Alleluia. Psalm 37. Do not fret because of the wicked, and do not envy the workers of iniquity, for they shall soon be cut down and wither like the grass of the field. Trust in God and do good and you will dwell in the land and be fed. Delight yourself in the Most High. God shall give you the desires of your heart. Commit yourself to the Most High. Have trust and God shall act. God shall bring forth your righteousness like the light and your judgments like the noonday sun. Rest in the Most High and wait patiently. Fret not when the wicked prosper, who plot to bring down the needy and the poor. Cease your anger and forsake your rage. Do not fret, for it leads to evil. For the wicked shall perish, but those that wait on the Most High shall inherit the earth. For soon the wicked shall have gone. You cannot see their homes, because they are no more. But the meek shall inherit the earth and enjoy abundance of peace. The wicked plot against the just and gnash on them with their teeth. The Most High shall laugh at the wicked, for God sees that their day is coming. The wicked have drawn their sword and have bent their bow to cast down the poor and needy and to slay the upright. But their swords shall pierce their own hearts, and their bows shall be broken. What little the righteous have is better than the riches of the wicked. For the arms of the wicked shall be broken, but the Most High upholds the righteous. The Most High knows the days of the upright, and their inheritance shall be forever. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Do not fret because of the wicked, and do not envy the workers of evil. Alleluia. The lesson is from the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 4, beginning at verse 32. Now ask about former ages, long before your own, ever since the day that God created human beings on the earth. Ask from one end of heaven to the other. Has anything so great as this ever happened, or has its like ever been heard of? Has any people ever heard the voice of a God speaking out of a fire, as you have heard? Or has any God ever attempted to go and take a nation for himself from the midst of another nation, by trials, by signs and wonders, by war, by a mighty hand and an outstretched arm, and by terrifying displays of power, as the Most High your God did for you in Egypt before your very eyes? To you it was shown so that you would acknowledge that the Most High is God. There is no other besides him. From heaven he made you hear his voice to discipline you. On earth he showed you his great fire while you heard his words coming out of the fire. And because he loved your ancestors, he chose their descendants after them. He brought you out of Egypt with his own presence by his great power, driving out before you nations greater and mightier than yourselves to bring you in, 
giving you their land for a possession, as it is still today. So acknowledge today and take to heart that the Most High is God in heaven above and on the earth beneath, and that there is no other. Keep God's statutes and God's commandments, which I am commanding you today for your own well-being and that of your descendants after you, so that you may long remain in the land that the Most High your God is giving you for all time. Here ends the lesson. Now let us offer our prayers and petitions for God's people throughout the world. For Tom and Alan and Ray and Richard and Don, and for all of our church leaders and for all clergy and ministers. For this gathering and for all people. For peace in Jerusalem and in all the world, for goodwill among nations, for the well-being of all people, and for justice and peace. For the poor, for the sick, especially Carol and Melissa, Carol and Jayla. For the caregivers, especially Mary Ann and Deb and Melody and Alan and Bill. And for the oppressed, the hungry, for those in prison, for those in any need or trouble, especially the missing. Ed and Jim. For the mercy of God community and for the Sisters of St. Francis of Philadelphia, for all who seek God or a deeper knowledge of God, that they may find and be found. I ask your prayers for the departed, especially Howard, and for all who died. Praise God for those in every generation in whom Christ has been honored especially Francis and Claire, that we may have grace to glorify Christ in our own day. That God, who's begun this ministry, may bring it to fulfillment. For the intentions of all who've asked our prayers, and for all of your intentions. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. Lead us in your paths, O God, grant that we may find our delight in you. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. We trust in the mercy of God forever, and glory to God whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation, in the church and in Christ Jesus now and forever. Amen. Alleluia.